and also what's new is the Steam Workshop, which is awesome. It's, this is like uh, Skyrim Nexus on the Steam, on the Steam place. Well, on the Steam page, sorry. So you can access a lot of stuff here. Um, this is the top rated stuff. I've actually got Midas Magic. That's good. I haven't seen that in Skyrim Nexus yet. So obviously not all the mods are here yet because it is quite new, but. Um, there doesn't seem to be that many uh, of the enhancement mods. It seems to be like uh, just changing mods like that add stuff to the game. Uh, like there's a manor, there's a silver sword. Can you get silver swords? Uh, different places, sky forge. I don't know what that is, but let's click on it to see. I've never seen that before. This is a little convenient mod that adds a smelter, workbench, and tanning rack to Skyforge. That's a good idea because it's always a pain in the ass when a place doesn't have a smelter and you want to smelt your ore to use it at the blacksmith to make armor. So that's good. Um, and you can rate it. Obviously, it's rated 5 stars so far, 340 ratings. So, this, as the months go on, this will be probably more popular than. I don't know if uh, Skyrim Nexus is going to keep going with the. Nexus mod manager or whether this is going to completely take over find the best mods for your game finding and installing your favorite mods is easier than ever before mod makers also enjoy a streamlined process for uploading mods directly to steam I don't know if the uh, Bethesda thing is live yet the, uh, the creation kit went live yesterday also so this is all yesterday on the 7th I didn't even realize yesterday so you just go to um, you have to find tools. Where is it? Library. And you go to tools. Creation kit. There it is. Not installed. So I have to install that. And that's our disk space for 40 megabytes. That's pretty good. So this allows you to make your own mods really easily. Well, not really easily. Yeah. There's a video on it on uh, Bethesda. So you can watch that. Um, where is it? Creation Kit Tutorial Series, Episode 1, Introduction to the Kit, so that gives you a good uh, overview of the whole thing and uh, how to use it, so that's good. Um, and we've got Part 2 also, it's quite long videos, like 25 minutes long. Don't know why they split it up into two. So I haven't tried that obviously yet, I'm just downloading it, and as soon as I do I'm going to probably invest a lot of time into it and try and make something quite unique <laughs> if it's easy enough like uh, I'm, I'm not I don't have much experience with mods like just doing a, a bit but uh, it'll be interesting to find how this works if it's as user friendly as I am led to believe it is then it should be very interesting indeed it's definitely opening up the mod scene, that's for sure, for this game. And there's probably going to be so many mods for this game now. It's just going to be flooded. And the best thing about it is the rating system means that always the best mods will be on top. So you won't get any of the, the crappy mods like the one would, that I would make. <laughs> that, would, that would probably be on page 34. Let's see what's on page 34. Nope, nothing there. What? Why even give me a page 34 if there's nothing there? What a joke. Faster vanilla horses. Let's just take a look through all these mods. White rum trees. I mean, all this came out yesterday, so it's just quite amazing. Can't wait to actually try some of these mods and actually download them and see what they're like. Well, there's not that much there yet. There's weaponry texture, book price balancing. There's a couple of good... Uh, what do you call it? Practical ones like the uh, rich merchants, so you can uh, sell stuff that is more expensive. Whereas you can't at the minute, like they only have like 800 gold, like they used to in Oblivion, or up to 1000 gold sometimes. Luckily, their gold goes up as you sell stuff to them, so you can sell or you can buy stuff from them, and their gold will go up, like I did uh, to a lot of the alchemists. I bought a load of alchemy ingredients, and their gold went up to above 1300 gold, so yeah. Longer lasting mage. Uh, Lord of the Ring weapons looks nice. Bigger mammoths. Um, 
I like Midas Magic, I'll probably download that, uh, see what other spells there are. Hopefully they have uh, some nice uh, force push spells that'll really blast enemies back, because nothing is funnier than seeing enemies fly hundreds of miles away. Dawnstar Sanctuary, re what? Respawns. Removes the never respawning. This mod removes the never respawn flag from the Dawnstar Sanctuary as well as a few other changes. Torture victims drop a human heart. Yeah, that would make sense actually. Why don't the people who die drop human hearts? More dragons, ragged flag, and shortcut. Like a lot of these mods are practical things and I haven't really seen many graphical mods. Although the new HD pack just came out, so yeah. But I showed you the fix for that, that's so you, you can use your own um, your own texture packs along with that. The other modders packs, like armor packs. Lighter alchemy ingredients, that's good. I need that, probably. A lot of these make sense, because it pisses me off so much having stuff like alchemy ingredients weighing you down so much. Like I have, uh, sometimes I'm carrying so many alchemy ingredients. And I don't remember them weighing that much in Oblivion. I think they increased the weight in uh, Skyrim. I could be wrong, maybe it's just because I collect more alchemy ingredients in Skyrim than I did in Oblivion. You got reverse daggers, combat magic, uh, lower correct for Volan Drung. That must be some legendary weapon. Uh, Clam Chowder, right. Ignite the world. That looks interesting, like more fire effect, better fire effects. Use your fire spells to ignite the world. Anyone who walks through it is ignited and takes damage over time. That makes sense because fire would ignite the world better than it. it. It only sort of like lasts a couple of seconds and usually moves when you use it in the, in the vanilla game at the minute. Burns the world. Fire made by your spells lasts much longer. NPCs who work through flames are ignited several seconds. I could make it quite overpowered though, that's the problem. Anyone who stands in the fire takes even more damage. Your magic fire now illuminates. Light up entire rooms with passion here fire. Yeah, looks interesting. It's only got 31 ratings this. Definitely makes it more realistic fire. Yeah, that's the thing. AI doesn't recognize it and go around it. Which would, which kind of takes away from the reality, like them just running through the fire. Stupidity. Uh, hopefully someone makes a mod for better AI. That would be good. Anyway, you can look through these yourself. There's a lot of pages. Um, obviously this is just the beginning. This is just the first day. Uh, actually, second day, but... Well, it came out yesterday apparently, probably came out about 6 in the evening, and I didn't realise because I was doing other stuff, and I'm only realising now and making a video on it, obviously, because this is really big stuff. Now here's a good mod, Open Cities, this uh, removes, uh, removes the loading screen and transfers the 5 major cities into the Tamriel world space. Eliminating, eliminating the load screen transition. You can ride your horse through town, seek aid from city guards in the fight. Uh, current releases include Markarth and Riften, other cities to follow. That's, that's a good mod when it's installing, be sure you're not present within the city at the time. Same with uninstalling, be sure you're away from the cities first. That's a very good idea, like uh, it's all within the game then, so if you like I used to jump outside the walls and be in the uh, some other not dimension, but it's it's like everything else is gone. All the buildings are gone outside the city. It's just like plain textures without the texture packs on top of them. It's like you're out out of bounds, you know. So this would be totally streamlined. So you just jump over walls and be in the back in Tamriel, obviously normal normal Tamriel. And that's a quick look at that Steam Workshop. It's awesome. And also got the creation kit. I'll take a look at that in the future, probably next week, for Random Commentary 19.
I probably won't even call this random commentary because it's specific commentary. So it would make sense. Obviously get more views if I don't use that random commentary at the, at the start. And Skyrim's on sale at the moment also for 23 33% off. That's really good for Skyrim. Get the free high-res texture pack for PC only, I'm sure. Which is awesome. Can't wait to see that. And that is what we're going to do next. Take a look at what Skyrim looks like in, with this new HD texture pack 